Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Willie Weasel here. And today we got this 2019 YZ450F. And if you can't tell, she is dirty. We have been out riding around basically all day long. We've been out riding wheelies and having some fun, which you will see in the first little bit. We went out and rode some wheelies, just basically just screwed around out and, you know, figured out what we was going to do today. And then decided we were going to ride up here. So if you want to see how we ended up to the shed, up this high up on top of the mountain, which is literally the perfect camping spot away from everybody, stay tuned to the video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first things first, we got to do a little sound test in here. This little thing right here. Oh, it's got to sound good in here. Woo! That was snazzy, boys. We can't be tearing all this stuff up, though. Because, uh, you know, this is like a lot of, uh, I don't know what you call it. State owned ground, federally owned ground. I don't know, but over there is like they call it the Battle of Leatherwood. There was like a big battle going on over here during like the Civil War times a long time ago. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, you know, you can look it up. They have a little reenactment every like October or something. I think it's October 17th or something like that. They'll have like a little reenactment. A few minutes later. about the ktm 350 i love the versatility of you know the tune app on this like you know it's been like i don't know how long i've had this close to a month now i'd say and it's like it's so smooth like it's so smooth i've got it tuned smooth too but even before that it was still stupid smooth like look i'm in second gear look i've got no hands on it or one hand off look just stand up like tell me what other bike do you think's gonna be comfortable enough for you to just That's just, it's butter. Come on. Like, why would you not want that? I love this YC. The more I ride it, the more I love it. And the more I don't want to get rid of it. I don't know why. Now, we might end up doing a bike build on this this summer if we keep it. If we do, if we keep it, we plan on keeping it, we will do an actual bike build. You know, we've already got a full lift lip. You know, we've already got bars and stuff like that. So it'll be plastics, another seat cover, some more graphics, another set of tires, uh, you know, some other options here and there. I don't know exactly what we would do. But we would get her kitted out looking snazzy, folks. That's exactly what we could do it. Get it out looking snazzy. I 
takes you so far, boss. Can't say it ain't. One hour later. All right, guys. Sorry for that little cut. I had to ride up my friends here to ask if it was okay if I could ride up on the hill here. Uh, I don't know if I will be able to make it because last time I tried to ride up on the hill here, it was really bad. Like, it was so hard to get up here. I might be able to now. You guys see me come up here on that 450RX, but I didn't go this way. I went, uh, which way did I go? Shoot. Oh, I slide. Anyway, I went. Sorry for it, folks, that I'm trying not to get some rush. But I went uh, by, I call it by Podges. There's this house I had to go by. Can I even get up by this way now? Oh, I stalled it. There's a tight squeeze up here, ain't it? There we go. Oh, there's a tight squeeze through there. Sorry about that big awkward pause and stuff. Oh, but I had to ask my buddy if it was okay to come up here. I just said, yeah. But the last time I'd come up through here, I had to go by this guy's house called Podges. Or Podge, I think that's his name, or her name, or whatever. And it's a tight squeeze through there, too. But this cut's like five or ten minutes off the trail makes it so much easier. Oh, the money, guys. <laughs> It's to death. I think my helmet's not. Yeah, my helmet's not latched. Hold on, I gotta buckle my helmet. I had to buckle the old helmet. Don't want it flying off if we crash. Wouldn't do no good, would it? <laughs> Here, guys, this is where we're supposed to be coming to the old shed. Like I said, nice little shed in the woods. This is like the perfect camping slash riding spot. Like I said in that one video. Hold on. As you see, got us a nice little shed to camp under, or sit here and camp at whatever. You could park around here, camp around here, camp up on the hill, throw your little fire over here or whatever. It's a great place. It really is. All right, guys, we have made it out to the lookout. Look at that. That's why we call her the lookout. Bulls, if you can't tell, we are extremely high up on the mountain. That's just awesome. If you can't tell where we are, we are in Kentucky. This is nothing but some big Appalachian mountain ranges. We are in the middle of the Appalachian mountains. Wow, Bulls, we're up the mountain. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, Bulls, we're probably gonna do a wheelie or two, and then we're gonna have to call it quits because uh, GoPro might be getting dead. I have no idea. We've rode quite a bit today. We gotta go home, clean the bike, you know, tighten the chain, do some maintenance on her, you know, move everything up. She is dirty, very dirty. Let's do us a nice little willy through here. Alright guys, we're gonna jump right out down and right in the middle of the road pretty much. But it's like 
Don't worry, I'm watching. But just wait till you see how we do it. This little jump jack is really cool. Make sure there's nobody coming. Yeah, we're clear. Sit there. Oh, yes, sir. That's actually really dope landed. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all right. Love this bike dude it's like you guys i don't even think you guys realize how comfortable i am on that or on this bike which is really bad because if you're like extremely comfortable you get really cocky when you get cocky you get hurt you gotta always respect the bike i mean i do respect it but at the same time like just getting comfortable i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but guys i guess we're gonna have to call this an end to the video if you enjoyed the video please be sure to drop a like on the video because it helps out the channel tremendously. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. That's the goal for my birthday. My birthday is at the end of May. Hopefully we can hit it by the end of April. So if we can, you know, smash that subscribe button as it helps out the channel tremendously.